So a couple weeks ago, we started a project restoring this 1997 Cannondale CAD 2 mountain bike frame. And as part of that process, we took it down to our friends at Tag Coating to have the frame sandblasted and powder coated. And I thought today as part of this restoration, we could talk briefly about identifying older bikes and coming up with some great resources for where you can find original parts and information about the bike. So here I am on a very cool website called Vintage Cannondale. And here they have a link to how to identify your vintage Cannondale. So looking down at the older bikes here, I figured mine was from mid 90s. And knowing that I had a series of numbers in four different sections, I was able to look it up. My initials here are J and then K. So this bike was manufactured in 1998 in the month of November. And then the frame code number here tells me what model the bike was. They even have links for helpful tips for restoration, where to find hard to find parts, even the paint numbers and the grams. I mean, this is pretty cool stuff. Here is even the, uh, the derailleur hanger, so you know which one went to which bike. I was able to find mine through Wheels Manufacturing, which makes third-party replacement hangers. So if you're looking for more information on restoring vintage bikes, specifically Cannondale's, this is a great website here called VintageCannondale.com. Well, the day has finally arrived. We have our Cannondale CAD 2 frame. It's been freshly powder coated in this beautiful black with a pearl-like finish. And we're gonna build this thing up into a beautiful mountain bike. So for parts on this bike, our budget was about $200 for a drivetrain, brakes, crank set, bottom bracket, handlebars, stem, chain, you name it. With an additional $200 to find a used fork and a sandblast and powder coat the frame. A few months ago, Damian Romero reached out to me from California. He said he'd been watching my channel since last year and wanted to donate a frame to me that he didn't have parts for. And because this is a large size frame, it was gonna work perfect for my brother-in-law. So Damien, thank you so much. Also a huge shout out to Matt Harding on Facebook Market for giving me a good deal on this RockShock Hydrocoil that we put on the bike. People often wanna know what tips to scale as far as putting money into a bike, whether it's worth fixing or not. And outside of sentimental value, when I can rebuild a bike and paint it for under 400 bucks, that to me is a great deal. And anyone that's interested in collaborating on a bike project with me, 
whether it's your own bike project, or even if you just want to donate used parts. This is the part I love about the YouTube channel, is having a chance to interface and work with people that want to rescue an old ride or bring back an old classic to life. So if you've got a project waiting in the garage, please don't hesitate to reach out. And if you have a donation you'd like to make, I'd love to work with you. Finally, one more shout out to one of our sponsors, Mark Cycling. The pedals and the grips you see on this bike project were donated by them. If you're in need of some good platform pedals or just a good set of replacement grips, I'll leave some links for them in my affiliate below. Even at full retail price, these are a great bang for the buck. If you're wondering why I have such a tall seat post and stem on this bike, while this is a large size frame, this is going to my brother-in-law who is over six foot three. Just a word about 26 inch tires. As most of you know, it's getting really hard to find a set of tires and especially rims for 26 inch mountain bikes. And Schwalbe has had a good selection for some time on tan wall tires. So if you're interested, I'll have a description and a link below on where you can purchase these. These Billy Bonkers model tires are not the most aggressive, but for around town and light trail use, they're a great deal for the money.
Thanks for watching this episode, and a special thanks again to Damien and Matt who hooked me up with this frame and a good deal on the fork. This for me is really what this channel is all about, is giving bikes a second chance. Being able to see something from a new point of view. If you wondered why we didn't go back with the original plum purple color of the bike, my brother-in-law's favorite color is black, white, and silver. And I hope we managed to get a little bit of everything on this bike for him. Again, if you have a project you'd like to collaborate on, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I'd love to get your comments down below of what you thought about this bike or what kind of project you think we should do next. Have a great week, and I hope to see some of you on the trail soon.